Hello friends, this video explain about the Entity Framework Database first with ASP.NET MVC 5. Now in this video we will learn how to create a database first and how to use on those database with the ASP.NET MVC 5 application. So we will use the Entity Framework 6.0 and ASP.NET MVC 5 to create the application. So let's start to first create the database with the application. Here go on file then start new project. Here you can see you can select the other language. Now you can select the SQL server. Here you can give your name like organization employee. Now I want to create the table in the database, right, right click on the solution explorer and click on add and click on tables. Now here you can give the table name. Now here you can see I have created an employee table with the employee id primary key and there is a first name, last name, joining date. Now in the tables you can see that I have created a three tables. First one is department, second one is employee, third one is enrollment. Now we want to uh, add some predefined data with the in the application. So for adding the predefined data the we need to add new items. Here you can select the post deployment scripts like uh, I have added the department I have the department table department table I have added some data now employee tables employee tables have some data now enrollment table enrollment table is also have some data so uh, this uh, post deployment SQL script is uh, add the data with the tables at the time of table creation now I need to create the tables so we need to press F5 now this table has been created if you want to see the tables go to the SQL server and use the local DBs and projects the automatically uh, it, the database is automatically created in the local DB projects database so now I am connecting here here you can see uh, the organization employee tables has been created like department employee enrollment now here you have seen how to create a table with the Visual Studio 2013 and how to insert data on those tables. We will create a ASP.NET MVC application for crude like create, update and delete command. So let's start from the another Visual Studio project. I have used the Visual Studio 2013. Now create a file, new project now go on the visual c sharp web here you can see i have given the name of organization details click here ok i use this mvc i there is no authentication required currently so i have used the no authentication and click here is ok here is the predefined structure is already created of the MVC application. Now we need to map the application with the database. So we need to create on the models, add new items, click on the data, edu.net entity model and now I can give org model dot edmx click here add use the generate from database click here next click on the new connection you can use the database you can use the local db slash projects server name Cl use the windows authentication and here you can see see that there is the organization employee database selected now click the text connection for test connection is succeeded click on the ok
now you can see that uh, here he can ask save entity connection setting in web.config as organization employees entity so leave as it is same click now you can select all those tables now click finish here you can see that all the tables will be added with your application now go over the solution explorer now the edmx file is already added in the models and it's already created the cs file of departments employees enrollments organization models these files is already implemented with your application now now we want to create a controller for save the department data employee data enrollment information so i need to create on the controller add controller we can use the mvc controller with views using entity framework like we will use the scaf folding features to generate the views and controller of the application now select this we can give the employee controller select the employee models use the data context and click here adds here you can see it gives the error means uh, for there was an error running select code generator there was an error getting type of try to rebuild of the project so before create a scaf folding first we need to build the solution here is build succeeded now again start the same process at controller employee employee model classes organizations and click here at yes now you can see that he is the automatically generate the employee controllers with index action method detail section methods create action methods edit action methods delete action methods and all the crude events should be automatically added in the employee controllers here you can see in the views folder it's automatically create the employee folders for views now i want to again create another controller for enrollment we need to create the enrollment model class the connection string should be same and click here add here you can see that is automatically generate the predefined codes of the enrollment now for see the pages we can add the links on the index.css.html here you can see i have added two links of list of the employees and list of the enrollment now i have built the application and start the application without debugging here you can see that there is two links on the index pages now i have clicked on the list of the employee so it's redirect to the employee listing page here you can see 
the employee listing now you can create new employee so here you can enter like Rajiv Kumar joining date is 21 slash 02 2010 now here you can click here cricket create so the format should be the joining date is MMDDYY so we need to create a two here you can say this new information here is be added now you can click here edit you can change some information like 22 here you can click here the save now again go to the home page here you can see the list of the enrollment now here you can see the enrollment is arc is related to the Microsoft class is related to the Microsoft here you can also create a new enrollment in the drop down there is showing the department ID here is showing the employee so now this is the features uh, entity framework database first with ASP.NET MVC 5 example I hope uh, you have enjoyed this video thank you